It's the bitter feud these psychics never saw coming. Haley and Nikki were supposed to be mates. Now they're stuck in a spiritual war over a controversial social media post. I felt like she was obsessed with me. The energy is so heavy. I am shocked that someone would write that. There are some dark forces out there. It's the ugly catfight between two Melbourne psychics at war over nasty social media posts. I still believe and stand strong in what I said and that was truly how I felt. When the two psychics you're about to meet struck up an unlikely friendship a few years ago, not even a crystal ball could have predicted just how ugly things were about to become. I don't wish to be involved with that woman anymore. I didn't see it coming, it blindsided me. Nikki Kistler's a psychic medium and animal communicator. You want to go home with Sam? Hmm? Do you want to go home with him? Horses, dogs, cats, birds, reptiles as well. Hayley Parks is a clairvoyant and spiritual healing coach. I welcome all these feelings. The pair used to be friends when Nikki took Hayley under her wing. Then Hayley posted this rant. I think everyone needs to be warned about this woman. To her three and a half thousand Instagram followers. I have been through it all. I've been enslaved by this woman for 18 months. What did you mean by that? Exactly how it sounds. There are some dark forces out there, guys. <laughs> These humanoid, alien-like reptilians are dark forces, the ones that are not pure, the ones that are not from the light. I just cannot believe that they are walking this earth still. Do you know what that refers to? I mean, reptilian. Um, in the next paragraph, it mentions my name. So um, maybe I've become a lizard. And that wasn't all. She tried to claim me like a pet. Um, this uh, paragraph um, devastated me that um, someone would think I would do that to them, which is totally incorrect. I would never do that to anyone. You've got your hands full with three other pets. Yes, yes, I don't have room for another one. I said to her, Hayley, why did you, what, what made you do this to me? And she said to me, um, I had a healing, um, the person who gave me the healing um, said I had negative energy around me and I've hated you for months anyway. So Nikki went to court. Sam from A Current Affair, I just wanted to have a quick chat to you about your old friend Nikki. This is your chance to tell your side of the story though, Hayley. When we catch up with Hayley, she claims what she did was no mistake. No, I actually mean everything that I said and I admitted to it. Why did you say those things? Because I meant it at the time. If you, you're connected with this woman in any way, please, I urge you to remove her as a follower immediately. You said that you felt like she claimed you as a pet. What do you mean by that? Like your pet dog here, or? Telling me what I can and can't do, who I can speak to, who I shouldn't speak to, who I should trust, who I shouldn't trust. Unless you wanted to be one of my puppies, you know, my little doggies. Before this ugly spat could get to a defamation trial, the former friends agreed to settle. Hayley forced to pay Nikki $10,000. And an apology, which is very, very fair, I think, considerably fair. An apology that's since been deleted from Hayley's Instagram account. I've forgiven her and I understand that people have laps of judgments and, 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 you know, I send her good vibes. Oh, a massive lesson. Um, I think we're always learning, we're always growing, we're always healing and I think that there are some expensive lessons in this for her as well. She's lost someone that could have been a really great friend. Well, both Haley and Nikki say they want to concentrate on the future, putting this spiritual war of words behind them.